just about got the Amiga boxes complete. And I decided to go with a removable baffle just for future maintenance. Um, so I ended up gluing these ears on and putting T-nuts uh, on the back of these MDF ears. And then the problem was to transfer those hole locations to the baffle, which is down here. I've already got the holes transferred. And these are 5 16 holes, which is required by the T-nut. But I didn't have any 5 16 dowel centers, so I decided to make some centers out of a quarter inch 20 thread bolts. And then I just put these in a drill and uh, took them to a bench grinder and put that tip on there, which should be the center, very close to the center. But the problem was, after I threaded these in and then applied pressure on the baffle, it just pushed the T-nut out. So I didn't really want to go through the trouble of um, epoxying the T-nuts in. So what I ended up doing was just taking a quarter inch dowel centers that I did have on hand and I just padded them with masking tape. I've got three of them here and I only had three so basically what I did was put uh, two here kind of as the uh, homing position and then I just used the other one to go from each ear to mark its location in the baffle. And it's pretty easy to tell when it's in the home position because you can feel the, uh, the dowel centers notch into the baffle. I'm pretty happy with how it came out, except I really would like to countersink those. And ideally, you'd drill the countersink and then drill the, the main hole for the bolt. But in this case, I had to come from the back. And uh, yeah, I guess I still could have did the countersink, but anyway, I didn't. But I might be able to take a an X-Acto knife and just kind of trace that hole and then carve it out enough to get those to countersink. It would improve the looks quite a bit. Yeah, otherwise it's coming along pretty good. Not looking forward to putting that in there though. But I think that's the next step.